Hi, I'm Ben, and today we're going to be making a pot of coffee for the office. Soft smile. Three, two, one. First things first, if you're in an office like me where you've got a ton of people in the office, you're gonna to wanna to make a, a whole pot of coffee. That way everyone can get involved, have a little coffee pot chat, and, uh, and really start networking in the way that you want them to. So you're gonna ask everybody if they want a cup of coffee. And they're gonna say yeah, because obviously they do. It's the morning or the afternoon, whatever you have it. And they're gonna say sure, and you'll say how many cups do you want? And they'll say one. However many cups they say, double it. Because no one ever goes for one cup of coffee. Everyone's a two coffee minimum. Right. So there's a few things you need. We've got our Mocha Master here. We've got our handy dandy jug. That's actually the second one we have. We smashed the first one. Um, you're gonna need a bag of coffee grounds. Coffee. Then we've got Carajaz, coffee with a conscious, organic coffee. Um, try to find fair trade coffee um, or fair trade certified. Um, and then you're gonna wanna make sure it says plunger or filter or drip or just make sure it's the uh, it's the tiny little uh, little bean guys. Not bean, no, actually, not the beans. It's gotta be the, it's gotta be the grounds. It's gotta be the coffee grounds. Um, you're gonna need a filter. Filter. Wonderful. Let's get this baby started. First things first, you're gonna need to fill up your jug. This is a, well, yeah, fill it up with water. Fill it up with filtered water. Fill it up with the water you're gonna use. I'll be right back. All right, so now we've got our pot of water, jug of water. The jug, this is gonna, you'll be amazed. At the end of this, this is gonna be full of coffee. So, I'm gonna start it up, take off our top there. You're gonna wanna fill her all the way up. Scissors, coffee. Oh, this is good. Hang on, this guy's actually got a little rip. Oh my god. Nope. Okay, that rip is baloney. And then you're gonna wanna fill this guy up uh, pretty high. Fill him up a little, uh, most of the way to the top. This is gonna to depend on, um, on how strong you want your brew, um, but generally about 50% to, 50% will be a pretty weak brew, three quarters will be a pretty strong one, and then if you go all the way up, you might risk overflowing, but if you're a risk taker, go for it. Oh. And then you turn it on, and then when really? it's up, then you let it open. Is that actually a thing? Is that what you're supposed to do? Wow. Okay, jeez. All right. If you're in an office like we are and you're just kind of checking on the pot of coffee, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the lid on, hit the on button, and then go back to work. In 30 minutes you'll have a pot of coffee. The professionals do it this way. So you're gonna leave the top off so you can see the top of the, uh, of the, old, uh, the old filter and coffee situation. And we're gonna press the on button. Full heat over here. Uh, that's if you wanna just warm it up later. Um, and now we're gonna wait. So we're gonna watch the, the, the water start to drip through. You're gonna watch the water kind of uh, cover the coffee grounds, get them all wet, nice and evenly. And then you're gonna pop the top on, open the bad boy up, and start filtering through. So I have to look for the, cr the, crem the crema. All right, so now we've got our coffee nice and saturated. We're gonna pop the, uh, the old lid right back on there. And we are going to let loose the dam. Open up the old floodgates here. Pop that to open, and uh, bada bing, bada boom. Got some, uh, got some coffee going on. Nice and, uh, yeah. Quite handily. Um, yeah, now we're just gonna wait. We're gonna wait on this coffee to, uh, to brew. Empty, full, hot, bell. Now, if you don't have a bell in your office, you can also just go around to every person and tell them that the coffee's ready, but that takes a lot of time. We've developed a simpler method here using the summoning bell. And if there's anyone else here at this point, we would, they would be summoned. All right, so as you can see, empty on top, full on bottom. Hot to the touch, um, and a little bit wibbly wobbly. So, all that's left to do is enjoy your steaming hot cup of joe. Milk. 
Well, if you liked uh, if you liked learning how to make a pot of coffee for your office, and your entire office actually enjoyed you making a pot of coffee, and you actually have a coffee maker, or if none of those things are true, give us a like, subscribe to the uh, the old Channelio channel, subscribe to the old channel. Um, yeah, and uh, from us at No Issue, that is uh, that's it. That's how you make it. That's how you make coffee. If you didn't know how to do this, and you were looking at a YouTube video for how to make a pot of coffee, and you found this. I hope you learned how to, how to make one. Um, it's a skill that's been passed down for generations, truly.